RF Programmable Solenoid Valve Fitting the batteries Unscrew the transparent cover and remove the control unit. Unscrew the cap of the battery housing. Draw the battery holder out of the housing. Remove flat batteries, if in place, and fit the new ones in the holder, observing the correct polarity. Replace the battery holder in the housing. Retighten the cap, checking that the seal is positioned correctly in its seat. Once the batteries are fitted, an initialization routine will start. Display LEDs light up in sequence, valves close in sequence. Warning, 30 seconds after having fitted the batteries or pressed any button, the LEDs on the panel will go out. To refresh the display, press any button. Installing the solenoid valve. The programmable solenoid valve is fully watertight and will function even when installed permanently underwater at a depth of up to 1 meter IP68 ingress protection. It can be installed in the open or in an underground valve box, positioned either horizontally or vertically. To ensure the product remains watertight, make certain also that the control unit is aligned with and fully inserted in its seat and that the transparent cover is securely screwed on with the seal properly positioned in its seat. Warning! Be certain to install the programmable solenoid valve observing the water flow direction indicated by the arrow, flow. Manual programming of RF solenoid valve. To activate the display, press any button. Select the line to be opened manually using the forward back buttons. Number one will blink. Press OK to open the valve. Press OK a second time to close the valve. Radio remote control. Fitting the batteries. Remove the cover of the battery housing. And fit the two batteries in the holder, observing the correct polarity. Reposition and close the cover of the battery housing. The first time that the batteries are fitted, the initial time day page appears on the display, indicating 12 o'clock and S for Sunday, setting the time and day. To set the time, press OK. The OK symbol will blink, then proceed to set the required time, for example 0830 using the forward back buttons. Press OK to confirm the time and the page for programming the day of the week will appear. Use the forward back buttons to select the day of the week. S equals Sunday, M equals Monday, T equals Tuesday, W equals Wednesday, T equals Thursday, F equals Friday, S equals Saturday. To confirm and quit, press OK. The main screen will appear with the current time and day blinking. Connection of remote control with RF programmable solenoid valve. On the radio remote control, select the unit to be connected. In this instance, one or two. 
After selecting the unit, for example, 1, the LEDs will blink in red. Press any button on the valve to light up the display. Press the three buttons of the valve simultaneously until they blink in red. Clock transmission. While the valve display keeps blinking, press the hidden button on the radio remote control with the tip of a paper clip. The display will start to blink and the symbol RF will appear. The connection will be successfully completed when the message UNIT appears on the remote control and the valve starts an initialization cycle. LEDs light up in sequence, valves close in sequence. Programming. Set the duration of the watering cycles, runtime, for RF Unit 1. On the Time Day page, press the Unit button. This activates the Unit page and the red LEDs on RF Unit 1 will blink. Press Forward to access the Runtime page. Press OK to set the runtime. The OK symbol will blink. Use the forward back buttons to set the minutes of watering, for example, 10 minutes. Keeping the buttons pressed down, the numbers will scroll faster. Press OK to confirm the selected time. Press forward to display the next programming page. Programming. Set up to four start times for the watering cycle programmed on RF Unit 1. Press OK to set start time 1. The number 1 symbol remains permanently alight. Use the forward back buttons to set start time number 1. For example, 2100. Keeping the buttons pressed down, the numbers will scroll faster. Press OK to confirm the selected time. Press forward to set the subsequent start times, 2, 3, 4, and repeat the steps described above. Start times can also be set to off using the forward back buttons so as to skip the relative watering cycle if not required. Press forward to display the next programming page. Programming. Select the days of the week on which to activate the programmed watering cycles. Weekly schedule. Press OK to access weekly programming. The S symbol blinks for Sunday. Press the forward back button to cycle through the days of the week, which will blink when selected. Press the OK button repeatedly to skip watering on the day selected. In this example, Wednesday is skipped. W equals Wednesday. To quit, press the forward back buttons so as to select exit. When exit starts blinking, press OK. Press forward to display the next programming page. Rain Sensor. Press the OK button to access activation, deactivation of the rain sensor. The OK message will blink. Pressing the forward back buttons, the option can be toggled between Yes, sensor activated, and No, sensor deactivated. Press OK to confirm. Press the forward button to display the next programming page. Test Manual Watering. Press the RF button to activate communication between remote control and RF programmable solenoid valve. The test message will blink briefly. The display shows line 1 and the message OFF. Press OK to activate watering for a preset time of 5 minutes. Press OK a second time to stop watering before the end of the preset time. To quit the function, press forward until the test message appears, then press OK. Press to go back to the unit page. Transfer of programming data to the solenoid valve. On the unit page, press the RF button. The RF icon will start blinking on the display of the remote control for a few seconds with the green reception signal blinking on the solenoid valve. The disappearance of the RF symbol indicates that the update has been completed successfully and the watering programs will start automatically. 
If the ERR message appears on the remote control, bring the device closer to the valve and repeat the operation described previously. RF rain sensor. Fitting the batteries. Press on the tab firmly and pull downwards. Remove the cover of the battery housing. Draw the battery holder out of the housing and fit the two batteries in the holder, observing the correct polarity. Reposition the battery holder in the housing. and refit its cover. For further information, please refer to the instruction manual supplied with the product.